Guys, make sure you clean your furniture before you spray paint it, then move on. Guys, so I'm coming to you guys with a spray paint how-to tutorial. The reason why is because a lot of people are refurbishing and being frugal by buying secondhand furniture, like this, and then changing it to what they wanted. So I bought my mom a set. This is one of the chairs, and it's four chairs on the table. And she wants it white to brighten up the kitchen area. So with spray painting, a lot of people get frustrated and they say, I can't do it, it never comes out right. I'm gonna tell you why. Do not expect to get this color soon as you apply the paint. What you wanna do is prime it with the same paint that you're gonna change the color to, prime it. Why? Because the primer coat, which is what I'm about to show you right now, this is considered a primer coat. Don't get anxious, it's gonna happen, especially if you're using a good spray paint like Rust-Oleum. Rust this is American Accents. This is two times the coverage and it dries really fast. This is what I do to get a good coverage and it doesn't take long and it's actually faster and you have less mistakes. So when you go, you just go through and do this. You're not trying to, this is not a really good can. <laughs> I shake the mess out of it, but I'm clouding it out. Just enough to get the paint on the chair and you see it. Not a whole thick coat. Why guys? Because this coat is going to give you a base for the thicker coat to apply next. Now this coat here, you're gonna do the whole chair like that. Don't get anxious and start trying to get it full white. You know, you're gonna get it white in some areas, but just apply a thin coat like that. After you apply this coat, let it sit for about 10 minutes and then come back and apply your thicker coat and you should be done. Because this coat right here is gonna grab that next coat and make it stay. But when you go from a shiny chair that you did not degloss or you did not sand down and you just try applying thick coat to this stuff, it's going to drip. This chair is already done. So come around here and show them this chair. And this chair is already done. And it took less than like five minutes for me to do it because I applied a primer coat and the second coat, I went in with the color that I actually wanted. So there you have it. There's no drips, there's nothing blotchy. I didn't have to go back and wipe stuff off and remove stuff because it is done with a primer coat. You don't need primer, you don't need to sand, and you don't need to degloss. Use a thin coat like this, let it sit, come back and spray it thicker, and there you have it. So I'm gonna show you what this looks like when it's done. We're getting ready to paint the table and the other two chairs, and you'll see the finished product with probably, I think we might go through maybe five cans all together. So. We'll show you when we're done. All right? You guys have no clue how this primer coat will help you to get a very clean, smooth finish. This is very important. I know when I first started several years ago with spray painting, I would try to get that color on that first spray and it'll be dripping and smudging and all this crazy crap. But this right here would allow the paint to adhere and this is your best bet to get a nice, smooth surface. So it is done guys. I'm gonna let it sit for about 10 minutes and then that's when you can get a little bit more happier with the thicker coats after that. Now look at this. To go from drab to fab, you cannot beat this. This set was $150 on OfferUp. Guys, I did videos on OfferUp. I tell you, OfferUp has some awesome things, especially if you're doing something on a dime or you are frugal or have a really small budget. You can brighten up your space and become very creative to make your items look like they are more high-end. She is loving it. I am loving it. We let this set cure outside for several hours and the fact that we only use five cans of spray paint that were three dollars and 86 cent you cannot beat that okay so she's excited i'm excited that i was able to bless her with a new space and take it from looking like this right here drab and dim and dark to looking so nice and high end yes i'm loving it. if you guys are loving these videos thumbs up if you haven't subscribed please do and see you in the next video